Hi everyone and let's continue with more JavaScript goodies. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to insert with a form something that you want to output on a web page. So until now we've learned how to grab those values that are inside elements on a web page and show them on a pop up uh, alert box. But now what I want to do is create a form or an input where you can type something and the, whatever you type will appear on the web page automatically. Now with what we've learned until now you can do that with two different ways. Either you use a form with a submit button and an input for the user to type something or you can use the prompt box. Um, okay, But I'm going to show you how to do it with the form so let's create a form first. Now the form needs an ID. Let's call this form one. And then you have to type on submit equals to the function that we will later create and that function, basically, what we'll have is a script to insert something on the web page with a variable. That variable will hold the values that the user types on the input of the form. Okay, so uh, let's let's leave this empty for now. Now let's type title. Now input type equals text. Let's give it an ID of title one. And then let's give it a size of 25 characters. And down here, sorry, this is not the size of characters. This is only the size of the box or the input. And now we can type um, title and then description. Now what we can do is basically grab this. And instead of uh, 25, let's type uh, 55. Okay. And here, let's take title one out and let's give it an, another ID. Let's call this this one and here we need to type a line break and here another line break okay let's save this and now let's create the input button input type equals and this is uh, submit okay because we're going to submit some information value equals and the value is whatever you want to appear on the button. So I want to appear submit. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so now here inside JavaScript, and let me just check how this appears on the web page. Okay, for now, this is what we have. It's not very, very stylish. Let's leave it like this for now. Well, let's give it a little bit of more space there. Okay, so let's give it another line break here and another line break there. Save it. Okay, so there it is. Title, you can type whatever you want here. And then description. So let's create the function that will write uh, definitely something on the web page. So the first thing, obviously, is function. And let's type um, right. Okay, so inside a function, the first name is create a variable called um, title, and this is equal to. Now what we have to do is grab this title here with the get element by ID title one. So get element by ID. 
and title one okay and dot and now to hold anything that's typed uh, inside the input we need to put here the value okay value is whatever the user types there now let's create a new variable which will be called uh, this task here and document dot get element by ID and we need this ID here desk one dot value okay so now we have the variables that will hold anything that the user types either on this input and on this input and here let me type document dot write now let's start title sorry title okay let's instead of h1 let's type h3 and then let's close h3 and here plus and then title okay and you can even type here a line break as well so line break and now document write h3 and description h3 so we need a little space here and here and then um sorry this is title and then this is desk okay so instead of using on submit we're going to use another event that it's a lot better let's delete the on submit and in here instead of submit input type let's type button okay and now to give an action to this and let me just run this and see how this is going okay so we have title let's type uh, big news and here let's type whatever if we click submit you see that nothing happens to the button because we need some action okay for the button to, s to do something specifically so to do that what we type here is on click okay and inside on click which means uh, this is a event handler and we're gonna learn this uh, later on so this what we'll do is whenever you click this button call the function or do what the function right has in here as a script so if you save this and you run it let's type big news and here nothing special and you submit nothing appears why let me just check here okay this could happen a lot of times to you make sure whenever you create a function you don't use the same uh, name as we use for properties otherwise it will confuse a lot of the JavaScript code so let's just call this function do it and here do it okay it confuses JavaScript and it will not work so if now we go to launch this in Chrome and type big news and description nothing special here and submit there it is so you can with this simple on click event handler and a function you can basically put anything on a web page that your user types on the input or a form okay guys so this is it and see you guys in the next lecture